image has changed the world. Um, and we all saw that image of Margaret in Coventry, the first person who got her COVID vaccine. That was in Coventry. It was She was surrounded by NHS nurses and doctors and healthcare assistants. And she represented freedom so we can all go out and we can have this conversation, which I didn't think we'll ever have. I thought we'll be locked up forever, but thankfully we're out and, um, and we're away from, I'm away from the front lines and so I can deal with my cancer patients again. Um, but the image, have a look at the images of patients with cancer now, because we're seeing the same thing happen again. People who are getting jabs in their arms and you'd see the jabs in the arms and nurses giving it again and the patients benefiting and they look happy. They look happy because they've been given, they've volunteered their time, their lives to help every other patient after them. So yeah, that is incredible. Um, and then they go into the press and they talk about how their family felt more hope because technology was coming from across the world into their little old hospital, which may not have been part of the cancer vaccine launch pad, and they were getting jabs, and they became part of this bigger movement, which is cancer research, because outcomes can continue to improve. Survival can continue to improve. Um, the anxiety can be reduced. Side effects can be reduced as long as we embrace new technologies and research. So I think it's those pictures, and look at the pictures, look at their eyes, because this is hope. This is, this is benefit to people and everyone's doing this to benefit people with cancer because it's, it's a difficult disease to face but there is a lot of hope out there.